Hey everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is another beautiful day and we are in the backyard working on leveling all the pots that we have back here and doing it properly. Thus far in my garden, I have just taken my pots and I've just put them on the dirt and not worried about it. And about once a month, every other month, I have to come out here and I have to kick a little dirt under one side just to make sure that they're not tilted side to side. So Jason and I were talking and we decided we were going to do it the right way. Since we just took all the mulch out of this back, back garden, we decided we had the opportunity to do it right now. So we wanted to do it correctly. And and in the spirit of doing things the right way, I have Jason, oh. who is the per <laughs> who is the perfectionist in our relationship. I tend to just kind of do things, and then Jason comes back and he goes, "No, we need to do it the right way." The so right way. we are doing it the <laughs> right way today, and I wanted to bring you all along so that we could all learn how to do it the right way together. Okay, so I have five containers. Three of these white containers, I call these my topiary containers because two of them have topiaries in them. Then then I have the two rose standards, the new iceberg rose standards. I just have to say everything is super muddy because it rained and we have no mulch and so the mud kind of splashed up on everything. So everything looks a little bit muddy, but since we're messing around, I thought no point cleaning it right now. So what we did is we kind of did them in steps so that you guys could see each step of how you should be leveling your pots. If you want to do it the right way, I am not judging you if you don't want to do it the right way. Jason might be judging you. <laughs> but, okay, so step one, what you want to do is you want to dig a hole. And so you want to dig your hole about what? Four inches, three to four inches deep? five or six inches. Oh, five or six inches deep. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave, have enough room to put some type of paver base, either paver base, paver sand, or paver rocks, um, that you can tamp down to make level. So digging your hole is the first step. And then second step is filling a couple inches, three to four inches with the paver base. We used, this is paver sand. Paver sand. This is paver sand. Yeah. And you, did you do three inches? ish okay so we did three inches there so you can see step one was dig your hole step two was put the paver, paver base in <laughs> step three was put the paver on top of it and so what you want to do is you want to kind of tamp down the paver sand with this tamper right here right yeah so this is a tamper we got this just from like Lowe's um, it wasn't cheap $42, but we have a friend that needs to use this too. So <laughs> it'll be good. So this is nice and heavy and it just kind of tamps it down um, so that you can put the paver on top of it. And then what you want to do is you want to check to make sure that the paver is level. So you want to get your level out here. You want to put it on. You want to make sure that that bubble is right where it needs to be. Is this one level? Yep. Okay. Um, and then if it's not level, you can lift up the paver. You can use the tamper to tamp down one side, or you can actually get a rubber mallet. We had a rubber mallet out here just to make sure that it was completely level. And by doing that, you're going to make sure that it's not going to shift side to side, like if it rains or anything, because you're tamping everything down solidly so that whatever container you're going to put on the paver, it's going to be nice and level. And then... You come over and you can put the container on. You can, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that paver up with the mulch. So when we come in and we add mulch, it's just gonna go right up to the container. And then we will know that that container will be nice and level for years to come. Good job. Thank you. So we gotta go and we gotta finish the rest of them, right? Yes, we do. Okay, let's do it real quick.
icing to finish up. He's just doing the finishing touches. He wants it to be perfectly level, which is great, but I just, I don't have the patience for that. So he is doing the finishing touches on that. I wanted to show you guys my new, our new AC unit cover that we ended up going with. It is from a brand called Air Deco. Jason and I actually put this together. I actually did get footage of us putting it together about a week ago, but then my camera ran out of batteries. And so the finishing touches I didn't get footage of, um, but I did want to tell you guys about this because I do think it is a really good AC unit cover. I do have to say they did provide me with this cover, but I contacted them. So I was really, really nervous about finding an AC unit cover because we live in such a hot climate. We rely on our AC and it's not just for comfort, it's like for your health. Like the city will have uh, cooling centers once it gets really, really hot during the summer. If anybody's AC goes out or is malfunctioning, you can go to those cooling centers. That's how important AC is here for us, at least where we live in California. So working the AC working properly was the top utmost importance. And I had to consider that when I was going or trying to decide on uh, what cover I wanted to go with. I knew I wanted to cover. This is my side yard here. Um, this is going to be the entrance point for our garden tour. So I knew I wanted to cover it with something, but it had to be something that was going to keep the AC unit functioning properly. And this Air Deco brand, their motto is the brand trusted by HVAC professionals. <laughs> so when I saw that, I thought, okay. So I emailed them and asked if they, you know, that's the cool thing about being a YouTuber and on Instagram is that I can say, Hey, I'll tell everybody about it. You know, uh, if I like it. And so they, they, they did provide me with this. So thank you to them for that. Um, I think it is a fantastic unit. It's made out of high grade aluminum. It is going to protect our AC unit from the weather. So it's going to keep our AC working properly for longer. It's also going to keep it cooler because it's shading it. Um, it's actually quiets the sound of the AC unit. So it's obviously not on right now, but during the summer, our AC unit is on all the time and I'm always out here and it's always kicking on and so having one of these covers right here will actually make it about 30% quieter so I will take that 30% and I will be happy to have that 30% of noise reduction which is absolutely fantastic so it is a big unit I wanted it to be like as minimalist and as seamless as possible so that your eye would kind of just go straight by it um, but you do have to have a big enough unit so that there's enough airflow and and that's what these louvers are for. It makes it so that there's the proper amount of airflow around your AC unit, which was something I was really concerned about with some of the other AC unit covers, um, you know, that were just a little too close. I was even worried about doing a DIY because I was thinking about doing a DIY project for one of these. Uh, and I was just worried that I was gonna mess it up. So with these covers, you pick the one that fits the size of your AC unit. And again, you want it to be the right size so that there's enough airflow. And it happened to just fit perfectly. It didn't go over our walkway or anything like like that so that is great um, and I feel a little bit more comfortable if I'm gonna like I, I feel like you're not supposed to but I was thinking about putting maybe a pot or something on here because there's plenty of room down into these louvers so that you know that that AC unit is gonna be protected and be working properly so yeah so uh, I will link them down below they're a great company they were really really helpful um, I think they do have some of their own I know they have an Instagram they have I was reading about them their mom Auto is the peacock they have a peacock right here and that's because I guess in their neighborhood they have wild peacocks that walk around here in Davis we have wild turkeys <laughs> so wild turkeys versus wild peacocks I would I would go with the peacock <laughs> so anyway this is our new AC unit cover I am super happy with it I think it's perfect exactly what I need and it's functional and that's that's the biggest thing that I was worried about all right and back to Jason looks fantastic Jason almost done. almost done oh this looks so good okay nice all right so obviously we need mulch all around here but you can see these are level finally for once they haven't been level in forever and then over here we have our two rose standards with the bench in between. We were thinking about doing this to the bench, but I don't I don't think we need it, right? I don't think so. Maybe we'll do it next year if we we want to do it next year. Anyway, so we got all this at Lowe's. These pavers are the 16-inch sizes, which is all that we needed. Our biggest pots were over here. 
These pots are called MPG planters. They're like a composite. Um, and they, I got them Home Depot online, I think. And I really like them. You can see it's like cracking a little bit right there, but not too bad. Um, so yeah, so I really like these. I am planning to keep these here for as long as that they'll still stay functional. And then once these, if I ever want to change these planters, I'll probably just leave them in the same, you know, trio like this. Cause I think that that looks really pretty for this corner right here. So yeah, so that is how you properly level a paver or a, a pot the right way. Thanks to Jason for showing us all how to do it the, the right way. Because honestly, I probably would have just left it on the ground. No more kicking mulch underneath. No more kicking mulch underneath. All right, you guys. So that is it for today. Another thing checked off our list. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. Mm -hmm.